<laughs> David Dossi has organized the Rosalila performance. And now we'll begin the narration. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. In the Srimad Bhagavatam, it is stated that the Ras dance took place on the full moon night of the Sharat season. It appears that Krishna enjoyed the Ras dance with the gopis when he was eight years old. At that time, many of the gopis were married because in India, especially in those days, girls were married at a very early age. Under the circumstances, all the gopis who wanted to have Krishna as their husband were already married. At the same time, they continued to hope that Krishna would be their husband. Their attitude toward Krishna was what that of a paramour lover. Therefore, the loving affairs of Krishna with the gopis is called parakya ras. A married man or a wife who desires another wife or husband is called parakya ras. Actually, Krishna is the husband of everyone because he is the supreme enjoyer. The gopis wanted Krishna to be their husband, but factually, there was no possibility of his marrying all the gopis because they had not because they had that natural tendency to accept Krishna as their supreme husband. The relationship between the gopis and Krishna is called Parakya Ras. This Parakya Ras is ever existent in Gokul, in the spiritual sky where there is no possibility of in inevity which characterizes Parakya Ras. In the material world, yeah? in the material world, Parakya Ras is abominable. Whereas in the spiritual world, it is present as the super-excellent relationship of Krishna and the gopis. There are many real other relationships with Krishna. Master and servant, friends, parent and son, the lover and beloved. Out of these rasas, the parakya ras is considered to be the topmost. Krishna by their husbands and were locked up by force within their rooms. Being unable to go to Krishna, they began to meditate upon his transcendental form by closing their eyes. When all, when all the gopis assembled before Krishna, he began to speak to them, welcoming them as well as discouraging them by word jugglery. Krishna is the supreme speaker. And when Krishna began to re receive them very officially, showing all kinds of etiquette, they were surprised. He was treating them as ordinary society women. Therefore, they began to smile amongst themselves, and they very eagerly listened to Krishna talk in that way. Oh, ladies of Vrindavan, you are very fortunate, and you are very dear to me. I am so pleased that you have come here, and I hope everything is well in Rajavan. Now please order me. What can I do for you? What is the purpose of your coming here in the dead of night? Kindly take your seats and let me know what I can do for you. You must know that it is late at night, and the forest is very dangerous. I think, therefore, you are taking a great risk in coming here. So please turn back immediately without delay. It does not look very well for young girls and boys to remain together at night. So now that you have seen the beautiful atmosphere of Vrindavan Forest, 
Please turn back and engage in the faithful service of your respective husbands. Oh, Krishna, you are so cruel. We should not talk like that. We are full fledged, surrender souls. Please accept us. It is not worthy of your position to treat us like this. We have come to you, given everything. As women, we are certainly satisfied when our hearts are engaged in the activities of family affairs. But our hearts have already been stolen by you. We can no longer engage them in family affairs. Besides that, you are asking us repeatedly to return home. And that is a very appropriate instruction. But unfortunately, we have been sent here. Our legs have no power to move a step from your lotus feet. Dear Krishna, you are known as Rain. You destroy all the mysteries of the living entities. We have come to you with the hope that we may completely devote and dedicate our lives to your service. We are simply begging to be engaged in your service. We do not wish you to accept us as your wives. Simply accept us as your maid servants. Dear Krishna, we have simply been captivated by seeing you with earrings and with tilak, and by seeing your beautiful face covered with scattered hair and your extraordinary smile. <laughs> hey, Raghava, if you accuse us of prostitution, then we can only ask, where is that woman within these three worlds who is not captivated by your beauty? And the rhythmic song vibrated by the transcendental flute. Upon hearing the anxious plea of the gopis, the Supreme Personality of Godhead began to smile. When Krishna looked at the faces of the gopis, the beauty of their faces became a hundred times enhanced. When he was enjoying them in their midst, he appeared just like the full moon surrounded by millions of shining stars. Thus, the Supreme Personality of Godhead <coughs> surrounded by hundreds of gopis and decorated with a flower garland of many colors, began to wander within the Vrindavan forest, sometimes singing to himself and sometimes singing with the gopis. In this way, both the Lord and the gopis reached the cool sandy bank of the Jamuna, where there were lilies and lotus flowers. In such a transcendental atmosphere, both the gopis and Krishna began to enjoy with one another. <laughs> when Krishna suddenly disappeared from the company of the gopis, they began to search for him every place. <clears throat> after not finding him anywhere, they became afraid and almost mad after him. They were simply thinking of the pastimes of Krishna in great love and affection. Being absorbed in thought, they experienced loss of memory, and with dampened eyes, they began to see the pastimes of Krishna. Oh, Banyan tree, have you seen the son of Maharaj Varma passing this way, laughing and playing his flute? He has stolen our hearts and has gone away. Dear Chavaka flower tree, dear Naga flower tree, have you seen the younger brother of Balaram? He has disappeared because of our pride. Oh, Tulsi, you are much beloved by Lord Krishna because your needs are always in his lotus feet. Oh, Malati, dear Malika flower, oh, Jasmine, you all must have been touched by Krishna while he was passing this way after giving us transcendental enjoyment. Oh, mango tree, dear jackfruit, oh, perilous honey trees, oh, blackberry, dear bale tree, oh, tree of Kadamba flowers, you are all very pious trees to be living on the banks of the Yamuna. You must have seen Krishna pass through here. Please, kindly tell us which way he is gone. After searching for Krishna here and there, 
When the gopis became fatigued, they began to talk like mad women. They could only satisfy themselves by imitating the different pastimes of Krishna. Now don't be afraid of torrents of rain or severe hurricanes. I will save you. You rascal, Kalia! I will punish you severely. You must leave this place. I have descended on this earth that you punish all kinds of mystery. Bumi, Krita, Sita, my dear girls, please come. Oh, Krishna, you play the flute so nicely. Oh, here is the impression of the marks on the lotus feet of Krishna. The flower, the lotus flower, the trident. The thunderbolts are so clearly visible here. Oh, whose footprints are these? They are beside the footprints of the son of Maharaj Narya. You must understand that this particular gopi served Krishna with greater affectionate love than ourselves. Therefore, although he has left us, he could not leave her company. Oh, there are the footprints of my Pranasaki Sri Radhe. Oh, I am so happy for her. Oh, friends, just see. At this particular spot, there is no footprints of that gopi. It appears that because there were some pinprints from the dried grass, Krishna took Radharani on his shoulder. Oh, she's so dear to him. Krishna must have picked some flowers in this very spot. Satisfied by the run. Because on this very spot, where he stood erect, he picked up flowers from the high branches of this tree. And we can only see half the footprints. She must have taken Krishna deep into the forest and told him, My dear Krishna, I am now very tired. I cannot go any further. Please carry me wherever you like. When Krishna was spoken to in this way, he might have told Radharani, all right, better get on my shoulders. But immediately Krishna must have disappeared. And now Krishna, Radharani must be lamenting for him. My dear lover, my dearest, you are so fine and so powerful. Where have you gone? I am nothing but your most obedient maidservant. Please come and be with me again. Krishna, however, is not coming. He must be watching from a distant place and enjoying her sorrow. <laughs>
God is the fortune. Always resides here. It is only for your sake that we, your devoted servants, maintain our lives. We have been searching everywhere for you. So please, please show yourself to us. Chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna 
We should not chant this Kishirita. So why? So why don't we stop speaking it? It is because we cannot leave it. Oh, Krishna. Anxiety. 
at your feet might be wounded by pebbles as you roam about on the forest path. I was simply seeing 
I was simply seeing how much you were anxious for me in my absence. So please try not to find fault in me if I have done anything wrong. I cannot repay your, your continual love for me, even though out of the lifetimes of the demigods and the heavenly planets, it is impossible to repay you or show gratitude for your love. Therefore, please be satisfied by your own pious activities. You have displayed exclamatory actions for me, attraction for me, overcome by the greatest difficulties arising from family connections. Be pleased, be satisfied with your highly exclamatory character, for it is not possible for me to repay you by debt, your debt.
Two, three. So n. If r goes well, if n goes well. So now. So Madhuri na samapay. Our classes and our Mahotsa festival oh, ends with these three pastimes of Krishna. Uh, 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 blessings those who is director of this Rash Lila. Also, also has managed all these things. Oh, for an inevitable Krishna and all with all the gopis, Krishna became so many. All looks from outside that Krishna has become so many. But Krishna was so tricky. No opulence there was. Krishna never became so many. But he was dancing and moving in so quickly like a, what? Fire. That it looked like, that. oh, he has been so much Krishna like every gopis he is dancing and doing. And from this Lila, Krishna oh, went to Mathura after this. So this Lila is pastimes, including all the Lilas in the Rash Lila. And this Lila went on for uh, one night of Brahma. Moon was seen and he could not move here. Uh, always. No. She was looking. And she forget to move. <laughs> So you should try to know. Something has been told that really the gopis were not parkiya, there of Krishna. All were, were manifestants of all, bodily manifestants of Srimati Radhika. And Radhika is one with Krishna. Only to make Vilas and for uh, the jivas, souls, conditioned souls. Krishna played like this. That who will hear these pastimes with affection and honor? Oh, they will have the braj preen. So, you should, if you have so much honor to read, and to discuss about this, you can hear the past, these past times. And thus, by hearing, what will be? All your hedrog will go away. Bikriditam prajupatubhi idan chavishno shaddan vita anushuniyat atabarne yedaja bhakti param bhagavati patilabhya kamam hedrog masu apihichar. Uh, like southern devotees, they think that we should chant and remember and our heart will be pure and then uh, we should hear these things. Actually you cannot do with honor if you rem what? remember these pastimes and hear from any superior Vaishnava with so much honor. Then, what will be first? Krishna Prem will come and your heart disease will go away afterward. First bhakti should come. As much as bhakti will come, 
heart, row, and every disease will go away. So this is the process. Not that, oh, we should make our heart so clear and pure. It will take lakhs and lakhs, but you cannot do like this. This is not the process. Where you are, you be there. But with a very care, with honor, you should hear and remember the past, three past times of Krishna. You should not uh, do like Sajiya, imitate. Eh? You should not uh, be Krishna. You should try to be like gopis and hear all these things. Then at once your all heart uh, disease will go away and you will be pure devotee. Go Prama. All <coughs> and you should try to develop and always remember all these things to hear this thing. Read Srimad Bhagavatam. Practice from beginning. Rup Goswami teaching. Rabnath Das Goswami Manashikha. And from there you should be like this. Very strong devotees. This is our aim and object. My heartly blessings to all who are doing and who are hearing and who are here. So my blessings to all. Go Prema. Key. Someone found these things uh, down by the river, so there's glasses and some uh, batteries. And also someone lost a, a watch over here uh, near Nirguna's house on the grass, a black digital watch, so if anybody found that, they can give that to me. So, okay. And also this. And there's a microphone right here also. Found, yes. Thank you.